Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. I want to talk about how to find your style and that from a perspective of a minimalist and from a perspective of having a minimalist to extreme minimalist wardrobe for five years now. Now, the first thing I want to say, I think style has nothing to do with trends. So you, it, it's about your style. It's about finding your style. It's about finding what you like. And with that being said, I think there's no real right or wrong. So I wanted to say that. And also I want to say I'm not an expert. I'm just sharing my tips here that I've uh, realized during the last few years of I think finding my style more and more and I'm aware that this is gonna change over time but at least I found a direction that I think I'm gonna stick to. I found some things that are important to me and that I will um, embrace and use when it comes to my wardrobe now and in the future. If you're new here my name is Leah. I upload videos twice a week about minimalism and sustainable living. If you're interested in these topics consider subscribing to my channel. And now let's get started with the first tip. So the first thing is have a minimalist wardrobe or you don't need to be a minimalist or having a minimalist wardrobe, but by limiting yourself or by doing maybe a wardrobe challenge, a um, 30 pieces for 30 days, 10 pieces for 10 days or 10 pieces for 30 days or something like that. There are a lot of challenges out there, maybe also the classical like capsule wardrobe that help you find your style because by limiting yourself, you can find what's really important to you. You can figure out which things you like, which things you are missing from like a minimalist wardrobe and what you reach for again and again and what the things are because by having like 500 different pieces, I think it's really difficult to figure out what your style is. And I don't even say you have to have a style, you can wear whatever you want. But if you want to find your style or find what you like, I'm gonna share the next tip now. I think it is a journey. I think it will take time and you will find more and more clues to what is your unique style and also be aware, or at least that happened for me, that it can be influenced by trends because Sometimes we think something is ugly, then it's trendy and we get used to it and we realize that we actually like it maybe or we find more of that kind of piece and we take it into our wardrobe and realize that it's something we have been missing but didn't know we actually needed. I think it also takes time because only over time you can see if it's really your style you're developing or if it is some kind of trend that you think is your style, but you will ditch it as soon as it's not trendy anymore, because only if you stick to the things after the trend is done, after it's not super trendy anymore, you can really talk about your style. But giving it time for me also means that you shouldn't feel pressured. There of course are different like style guides, there are like rules to what you should wear with which kind of body type, there are colors that you should use depending on the seasonal type of color you have and things like that. I think these are very helpful and they have sometimes helped me in the past, but also sometimes they did not help me at all because I think the most important thing about finding my style is that I like it, that I feel comfortable, that I want to wear it, that I, that it's just feels good for me and that I choose to wear these things and not that there are some rules saying that for my shape of face, I can only have that and this and the other thing I really want to wear is not good because it doesn't fit my body type. You can look at these and as long as it helps you look healthy and it makes you happy and you feel good and look great in your eyes, that's helpful, that's great, but I wouldn't listen to these style rules too much if they don't align with what you are looking for. Which brings me to the next point that there is no right or wrong. 
I think when I was a teenager, a lot of people used to have these rules again, but not these more scientific rules of what looks good, what looks a certain way and a certain body type, but just what your clothes are ugly, your clothes are great. Some people sometimes think that you look great with a certain color with a certain piece of clothing and people tell me they think I look great with a certain color that I hate on myself. Also people tell me I should have that haircut or another haircut and it's my decision and sometimes I want to have that haircut and sometimes the other but I'm not making a haircut for another person. So I think there is no right or wrong when it comes to your style because you are the one that determines if it's a good style, if you feel good in it, if you feel like dressed appropriately but I don't think there are that many rules we have to follow with our style but the most important rule is just that you want it and that you feel good in it. And then the practical tips to like really get into figuring out what your style is, which clothes you want to pick, which you want to exchange to declutter and maybe not reach for in the future. Don't try to fix the whole problem at once, but look at different specific things. I think one thing I've always kind of thought about is the cut of clothing items. There were always clothing items I liked better on myself and that I thought did not look good on me. And that did actually change over time. When I was a teenager, I used to wear super tight um, tops and also quite tight bottoms. Then I realized I want to have very loose bottoms, super tight tops. Then I changed my mind and said super loose tops and tight bottoms. And now I'm somewhere in between, but I'm gonna get into that later. Um, so I think think about the shape of clothes you like to wear. I don't think there is a rule of like must-haves. I don't think you have to have a skinny jeans. I don't think you have to have leggings. I don't think you have to have a comfy pair of sweatpants. I think you have to have the things that you like, that you feel good in and that are functional for your lifestyle. And that also helps with your style because the things you like to wear, the things that you think look good on you will determine what kind of things you wear, which ultimately makes your style. The next thing I think I realized when I was a teenager is that I hated purple clothes on myself. And I don't really remember if it was because I hated the color purple in general or because I thought it didn't match my skin tone or the feeling I want to give off to the world. I had some purple clothes but I ended up decluttering them at age 15 or 16. That was actually before I ever like thought about minimalism as a lifestyle and thought about decluttering my wardrobe that was in a phase where I wanted to have more clothes and not less. But I somehow realized that purple was not my color. I did not like purple on me and I did not like purple in general. And purple is still the color that I think I'm the furthest away from wearing. Purple, at least like dark purple, is too dark I think for me. It's too cold and it is too... Um, bright at the same time of a color. It's too clear. It's it's just, it has all the aspects that I do not want to have in a color when it comes to my items of clothing. I think the next thing I really paid attention to was functionality. I think it's really important to think about your life, to think about your lifestyle, your hobbies, to also think maybe about the picture you want to give off to your surrounding. But I think there's no real way in, in dressing very sporty if you don't like sports, if you never do sports, if you don't like moving your body. So I think, but that's of course totally up to you, I think you should really think about what you like to do, what kind of clothes you need for your lifestyle and then what you like about these clothing items. And I think they most of the time combine very well. I do like clothes that I can move my body in and I also think they look good on me when they're not super tight and when they're not like making me unable to move. I like comfortable clothing items. Also, I'm my clothing style is absolutely not chic or like too put together actually. Uh, maybe in the future I have to have other clothing items because there's a dress code at 
my job or something like that. But for now, I do not have a dress code anywhere, so I'm free to choose what I want to wear. And I like the clothing items I have that are like very casual and very comfortable. And that also re reflects my lifestyle. I'm working from home. I'm a mom. I like to be outside. I don't want to have fabrics that are too like hard to care for because sometimes I want to climb on a tree or I want to like hike with these clothes and I don't want them to like rip apart. And I really like functional um, clothing items that uh, reflect what the activities I do. And that means having fabrics that are quite um, sturdy, not always thick, but, but not too like delicate and cuts that allow me to move my body. Another thing that is really important to me and that has also to do with my style, I think, is the materials I choose for my wardrobe. And that's one, a thing that you really should think about as well, because there are a lot of different materials. For example, for clothing items, I really don't like leather. I just don't like the look of like leather leggings or pants or leather jackets. That's it's not my style. I don't like it. Another very important thing to me is that the fabrics I choose are sustainable. I try to avoid plastic whenever possible. I only have plastic in my outdoor clothes where I just need it to protect me from the weather because I haven't found solutions that are completely plastic free. And so I try to go for natural materials that have good warming, cooling, regulating qualities that are pretty easy to care for and that are sustainable in manufacturing and in maintaining and keeping and washing because plastic clothing items shed microplastics every time you wash them. And I do not really want to have pieces in my wardrobe that do that. If you want to know more about the fabrics I choose for my wardrobe, I link you a video up here where I talk about these things. Another thing I think is really, really important is also the feeling. So sometimes it's really hard to determine what kind of clothes you like, what shape, what, what exactly it is about the piece. But just over time, I think you can develop a feeling for which kind of clothing items you like. You can just really take a close look at the, your favorite pieces and see what they have in common, what they have in common that could give you a clue to what what to look for in future pieces to make the chances as high as possible that the new pieces will become favorite pieces as well. Also, I think it's always great to just draw inspiration from people around you, from the internet, Pinterest, Instagram, wherever you want, and just to get inspired and think about which items you would like to have in your wardrobe. But there, I think we should really be careful because sometimes things look good on other people, but they wouldn't look good on us. Things are working for other people, but they are not good in our life. They do not work for our lifestyle. And sometimes it's just trends we see and because we see them everywhere, we get used to it and we think we like it, but we are not actually so in love with them. When they pass, we do not want to have these items in our wardrobes anymore. So for me, my current style or what I have learned for myself over time is that I look for muted warm colors, comfortable cuts that are a bit loose, on the uh, for tops and also not too tight for bottoms. For shoes, I just have very functional, multi-purpose shoes, but I'm not really in love with the style of the shoes I have right now. I would want to go for a more simpler looks. I also realized that I do not like printed shirts. I do not like shirts with um, or trousers or any piece of clothing with multiple colors, with um, text on them or with polka dots or stripes or anything like that. I like plain colors. I like earthy colors. I like muted warm colors, as I said, and that is what I am looking for. I also realized that it is more important that the color is good for the top I'm having. And if the bottoms don't have my favorite colors, it's not that bad. I think they would still look okay, but as long as because if the top doesn't look good, it really shows in my face and my face, I think, doesn't have the color I want it to have. I do not look healthy. I do not look happy if I wear a color that I don't like. And on one hand, it's because 
I like certain colors better than the others. And on the other hand, it's really because I did look at these four seasons, four season types of people where it is about what kind of colors look good with your skin tone. And I do think warm muted colors suit my skin tone best. I also always look for natural materials, as I said. I look for a casual style that I can wear outside, inside, wherever I go. And for now, that really works for me. I am still on that journey and I guess my style will change over time. And you can of course watch my old wardrobe tour video as well that I will link you up here where I talk about the things I had um, almost one year ago and the new one talks about the things I had like a month ago and that's stayed the same. But to just compare what has changed already over time. I can also recommend my minimalist wardrobe playlist where you will see an evolution and different topics when it comes to my wardrobe, also when it comes to style and the things I changed over time. I would really like to know what your style is or how you figure out what your style is. And also I would like to know if style is something that is important to you, because I think for my life it was important as a teenager but then there was a phase where i couldn't care less i think between like 18 and 21 i couldn't care less of like if i think clothes looked good or not they were just a thing that i put on in the morning took off at night and that's it and now i i do care a bit more about clothing items, but I also think, yes, I want to reflect myself in the clothing choices I make. I want to feel good and I want to feel beautiful. But on the other hand, again, they are just things to keep us warm, to protect our bodies, to support us in our lifestyle. So there are actually really more important things than clothing items. So I do think about style because I want it to be as easy as possible for me to find pieces that I love, but also yeah, it's not, it's not the most important topic. In the end, it's not about your clothes, but it's about you and what you choose to do in this world, the impact that you have on this world, the way you talk to people, the way you interact, the way you ha make your relationships. And I think that's way more important than the clothing choices you make. But still clothing items can give us a lot of like good feelings and support us and um, give us a lot of self-esteem. So I think it's still not a bad idea to think about our clothing choices and our style and how to figure out what our style is. And I think a minimalist wardrobe is a great way because it makes you realize what you li like a lot faster than if you are dealing with hundreds of pieces of clothing items. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you want to see more, I link you a video and a playlist right here. I link you to playlist about my minimalist wardrobe actually. And I hope to see you next time. Bye.